we shall learn about the human body a body consists of many parts some are big some are small what are the various parts of a body if we see from outside a body consists of many parts like head hands legs etc different body parts do different work like the hands are used for eating writing we use our legs for walking running playing etc to keep us alive and healthy not just one all the body parts have to work properly together now let us talk about some special parts of our bodies why are they so special let us understand this after the school when you reach home from outside only you can tell that your mother has made your favorite samosas how can you tell that yes it's by smelling you smell using your nose we have one nose in the story asha could smell the fragrance of fresh green grass in the garden which part of your body lets you watch the cartoon shows on the television which part lets you cry when you are sad yes you are right it's the eyes your eyes are at work from the moment you wake up to the moment you close them to go to sleep long hours of work for the eyes isn't it we have two eyes In the story Aman and Khushi saw the guava tree and wanted to eat the guava fruit How do you listen to your favorite song It's by using your ears In the story the kids enjoyed listening to the sweet voice of the cuckoo bird We have two ears Asha couldn't see the falling tree due to her blindness So how could she know that the tree was about to fall It was by hearing the creaking noise she could sense that the tree was about to fall and saved Khushi from getting hurt How do you know that the mangoes are sweet or the grapes are sour It is by tasting We taste with our tongues We have one tongue In the story All the kids enjoyed the sweet taste of the guavas lying around. How can you feel the feathers are soft or ice cubes are cold? It is by touching. The skin is the outer covering of our body. The skin helps to feel and touch. In the story, Asha liked the feeling of cool evening breeze softly touching her cheeks. So we learn the ears, nose, tongue, eyes and the skin help us to sense the world around us hence are called sense organs we have five sense organs ears for hearing eyes for seeing nose for smelling tongue for tasting and the skin for feeling so sight smell hearing taste and touch are the five senses that help us to feel the world around us without senses there is no way of knowing what is going around you life would be a very lonely dark and quiet place so we should be grateful that using our sense organs we are able to enjoy the beautiful world around us That's all for today kids. Bye bye.